Have you ever wondered how the Milky Way was formed? This might be a question that you'll hear from your future students as you become a teacher, or it may even be something that you've thought of and wondered about yourself. Well, this is a neat little story. It's a Cherokee Indian folktale, and it's called The Story of the Milky Way. It's by Joseph Rukak and Gail Ross. It was published in 1995 by Dial Books for Young Readers. Um, it's a story of an Indian village, which, of course, lives off the land, and they work hard to grow their own food and pick their own food and to make everything that they eat and, and everything that they wear and everything they do. So they just really work really hard to survive, of course, as Indians. Well, one morning, an elderly couple in the village wakes up and realizes that someone or something has been stealing their cornmeal out of the barrel beside their house. That um, they've, of course, picked the corn and, and made the cornmeal, and so they've, you know, they're kind of distraught over the fact that someone's been stealing it. Um, so their grandson comes up with a plan for the next night to stay up all night and to try to catch the thief. So he goes into the woods behind the house and, of course, sits and waits and waits to see who would be coming up to steal the cornstarch, and he finds out that it's a great spirit dog that's coming and eating the cornstarch and then, of course, leaving before morning. So he goes back the next morning and tells all of the village people about the great spirit dog, and they come up with a plan for the next night to try to scare off the spirit dog and to make it to where he just won't come back and eat any more of the food. Um, so they gather that night, and they hide in the woods behind the house again, and they wait for the spirit dog to come up, and as the spirit dog comes up, they give him some time to kind of get start eating on the cornmeal and stuff. Well, then they come out of the woods, um, making a lot of noise, trying to scare them off. And it says, Then all the people rose up, beating their drums and shaking their rattles. Thumb, 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 shish, 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 shish. The noise is as loud as the thunderer when he speaks. The great dog leaped in fear and began to run, but the people chased it, beating their drums and shaking their rattles. So even as the dog began to run off, they continued to chase it. And, of course, uh, after that is whenever the story comes out about how the Milky Way was actually formed, which is kind of neat. Um, but anyway, that little section that I read, you could, you know, have the kids get interactive with that part of the story and make the noises as, you know, maybe have some drums or little rattles or something for them to shake and just get them involved in that way in reading the book. But it could also be a story that could be used in a study of the solar system or the Milky Way or even a multicultural study on the Cherokee Indians. So I would encourage you to read this book and to just keep it in mind for your future classroom.